hello everybody uh, today I will demonstrate how to design a type tree in IBM WTX let's take a example your customer has a requirement like they'll send one file with three fields and the fields would be delimited by a asterisk and the field will be like employee name designation monthly salary the file will receive in this format employee name then delimiter as asterisk designation delimiter as asterisk then monthly salary but customer want in this format output should be in this format the first customer want the employee name the delimiter instead of del asterisk customer want in pipeline so employee name then pipeline then designation then delimiter pipeline then monthly salary so what we'll do for that uh, we'll take a source structure source structure with a delimiter asterisk we'll take a target structure target structure del record delimiter would be pipeline let's start with that and I have uh, design a input file input file name is like one uh, this is a record a record has all three fields like employee name then designation salary and uh, the delimiter here is like asterisk so let's start the WTX type tree so first what you have to do you have to select the extended tab then right click there then click new you will get the new then select extended project give the project name as employee click and finish so this is the beauty of WTX once you will create a extended project you will find multiple folders for different different purpose so what you will do here that you will have a type tree folder right click there select new then type tree then select the folder name and give the type tree name as emp in emp entry finish this one so one root has created and the file will save in a extension with dot mtt and the right side you will see the properties displayed property window displayed click on win root then select R and click on yes and you will get a class by default class as category you have to send the category to item and click on yes now the change the item name to employee item name to employee name select here then you can you know create another two field two field as a designation then same process you have to add another field as monthly salary since the category there will be three type of classes one is category second one is group third one is item though we are cre adding the field level fields we have to select the item here click on yes then name is monthly salary so now you got designation employee name and monthly salary all fields so what next next we have to create one record where we'll add all the fields with delimiter as you know asterisk and we'll have three records here multiple records that setting also we have to do so you can click on root add a class and change the class to group here because you have to make a group of all the items so and change the group name to record and change the re record properties later I'll tell next session what is the difference between explicit and implicit now we can change to explicit then a record component syntax is delimited 
as you say our requirements the delimiter value would be asterisk and in each in each record when the cursor pointer will read from field one to last field finally it should get to go to next if you want to read next uh, record then there should be one terminator that is new line so you can add terminator as a literal and change the value to new line now you record has created but we have to put all the records in one you know file so add one more category change group and change the name group name to file file so click the f rec then click the record button here add all the field employee name then designation then monthly salary then close this one select s yes, then open file group then add the record in file and change though we have multiple uh, record then you have to change to one to s yes. s yes is nothing but this this is implies multiple records save this one and then you have to click on analyze see you will get the error zero and warnings zero what i'll do because our output records should be in pipeline so i'll take the copy of this tree control c and control v and i'll change the type tree name to employee out out and the employee out has created i'll just change the properties uh, delimiter to pipeline and i'll save this one and i'll analyze this one errors and warnings are zero and you can save this one now we can create one map click on map map source it will create select the external project name emp map name give map name emp then you will find the root here dot mms has created this a source map now you have to create one executable map as emp then executable map has created then add the cards in card and out card in card and uh, in card then type tree is you have to just extend in type tree then select the type as file okay and select the file earlier i have uh, already you know select created the file it's input input file click ok then you can add the output file same output card then type tree you have to select the type tree second type tree then the type equal to file then file it would be take the file as output file employee output file now click ok click ok then save this one build this one and run this one so now then what you have to do you have to you know select click on a use one functional map functional map to run multiple files because we have not added anything to the so anything from source to target click on functional map wizard create then close this one add all the elements then you can find you know save then build then run map successfully then what you have to do run results select here you will find the output was uh, the pipeline output hope this session will help you a lot